Welcome back to All the Crackers in the Box. Glad to see you. Glad you came to say hi. Come chat with me about crafts. I got a couple couple things to talk about. I finished a diamond art. Super love it. Started another one. Not the ones you think though. <laughs> so that's always awesome when you don't do what you were saying you wanted to do. Um, I have a new project in mind that I'm going to start. But it's gonna, I'm going to have to put it on the back burner. But I'm still thinking about exactly which one I want. Um, and I've got a birthday gift to design of what I want. Uh, so come craft with me. Welcome back. Oh okay. yeah. So, if you've been keeping up with all my thrifts with me, I have been finding some very interesting colors. Um, one moment. Now this is a gorgeous purple, right? Super Halloweeny. I have found we have found two sort of Halloweeny purples. The dark dark purple. Not the light, fun purples for little girly girls. Dark purple. I have, we have found at least four of the Burnett Premium in black. Gorgeous, flat, crazy. Halloween loves black, doesn't it? And oranges. I got a premium here and we also have a impeccable. To pretty much the same orange, right? Not to mention lighter oranges, red heart orange, another purple. Um, we also have a big giant red heart, dark, dark purple that would fit right in. So I was on Pinterest. Of course I was, right? I get bored. My hands get sore. So as a break, I like to look at Pinterest and wreaths. Oh my gosh so many Halloween wreaths. I have two uh, wreath rings and I want to make a Halloween wreath. I want to use the orange, the purple, the black, and I want to do like a sock type thing. And so and they make a little amigurumi to go in the middle. There were so many cute ones. There were kitty ones, there were witch legs, there were these ones with three ghosts and they're all hugging the word boo. So cute. Spiders, I'm not a big spider fan, but for a Halloween wreath, I would actually consider it because, you know, spiders are creepy. Spiders creep me out. So this is something I'm putting on my back burner, but it is gonna be there coming up here and there. I'm going to be mentioning it and thinking about it as I design what I want. I may have to take two or three different ideas. I might even just go with like a Grim Reaper, kind of like my guy here, little Grim here. Maybe that's what I'm gonna do with little Grim. Maybe he's gonna live on there. I do have to make him a scythe though. I don't know why I didn't make one when I made a uh, knife for Chucky for Father's Day. I should have made one then. But you know, you live and you learn. So. That's definitely going to be on the docket. I'm thinking now, maybe Grim and a couple ghosties. I also saw one on Facebook that I thought was really neat too. It was a wreath and it was all round balls of yarn and a couple knitting needles. And I was like, oh, that is actually super cool. I kind of like that for in here, but I don't really have a place for it. So it's just something that I'm just going to have to keep in my nog and maybe Maybe I could do it on like a piece of cardboard, but then I would want to use the yarn at some point. So that's kind of an issue too with me where I'm going to be looking at this piece of yarn going, 
I want to make you into something. I don't want you to just be a ball. I'm not a big fan of just leaving balls. Like, um, I know a lot of people collect the yarn because they're gorgeous. Like, I've got these, and I love the way they look there. But I'm going to start using them. And that's why we're, I'm getting yarn. I do like doing yarn hauls, but I'm also a very practical person where I don't like frivolous gifts. Um, I actually liked it when my husband for our 20th anniversary got me a Dyson vacuum. I was so excited. That sounds so terrible, but I wanted a Dyson. I kind of regret it because it's not my favorite vacuum. I want a shark now. Anyway, <laughs> we bought it used and I was, I'm over the moon because we didn't spend a thousand dollars on this vacuum. I get to try out this vacuum that I thought was going to be so great for vacuuming and keeping the dust down. It is so cranky and temperamental. It, it gets the dust, okay? Gets the dust. But if there's crumbs on the floor, it says no. No, no. I'm not going to do it. I'm, I, I can't. It's a crumb. Help me. And then it overheats and turns off. <laughs> it is so... Ooh, and I don't want to buy the attachments. And this I spent we spent two hundred dollars on this used one, and it didn't come with any attachments. And it turns out the attachments are like a hundred dollars for it. I had to buy a new filter for it, and that was a good thirty-five dollars for this wheel and this one piece that goes in the middle because that piece smelled like wet dog. The people before because I think she soaked it. That's why she wanted to get rid of it. It had an awful smell. I finally got rid of the smell, so it was kind of a pain in the butt, but we bought it on Marketplace, so it was kind of one of those things where you kind of got taken, and uh, I made it work. Anyways, I want to get the Shark Navigator, I believe it's called. That one really catches my eye, probably because I keep seeing it in a lot of videos of people that do the, the steam cleaning, because that is super satisfying, <laughs> watching these rugs come out clean. Oh. I have a steam cleaner and it doesn't do a job nearly as good as that. It's probably because it's kind of old and busted. And I do keep it super clean, so it's not that. It's just, it's older and it's, it's, it's wearing out. So I'm looking at something different for that. But I mean, these are the things that I want. I want to, I want to, I want those steam mops because it hurts to wash the floor on my hands and knees and most mops yes they will clean them but then every so often you got to get in those corners or else you're just going to get so much grime and gook in there see I'm, I was a janitor for five years I do a lot of think about cleaning a lot so that's why sometimes you'll hear me say like I didn't feel like cleaning it's kind of a throwback to how long I was a professional cleaner for anyway so totally off target let's get this together here lady i'm crazy tonight so yeah i have two wreaths that are just styrofoam pieces i need to cover them i need to do something with them and i know one of them has to be halloween because i have a few halloween decorations that haven't quite weathered very well and not in the best way my one of my favorites is the uh plastic canvas haunted houses my mom made a few years ago she made a few and they are just fantastic they're starting to break off in places and she says don't fix them leave them that way it'll give it a better look and it's driving me crazy i mean these things are not small they're like big and the lids come off so you i've oh you put candy in them or or skulls because we got like skulls they live on my bookshelf all year round because their skulls why not oh interesting so a few one of our first timu hauls at my son was buying me lily uh we found this print of this awesome looking skeleton smoking a cigarette did not realize it was one of van gogh's very earliest paintings it's gorgeous i absolutely love it i'm a giant van gogh fan i had no idea that was one of his I knew, like, I did an autobiography report about him in sixth grade at, during a tour of the art gallery in town. Uh, 
my teacher handed me a couple books on Van Gogh and said, here, teach the class. So I did. Um, I had one kid that made me feel really awkward about things because I knew he thought I was making up words when I was talking about pristine white walls and why they're used in art galleries. And yeah, he thought that was just the craziest word he'd ever heard. Happens to me a lot. But anyway, um, so I thought I knew a lot about Van Gogh. I knew about his life, I knew about his art, I knew about his friends, his cafe time and all that. I did not know about his stint as a medical artist. And that's when he did this painting. So I'm super excited about that. I'm gonna get it framed and get it hung up. I thought maybe I was just like losing my mind, but there was an actual reason why this particular picture popped off my screen and I just had to have it. I was just like, wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Sorry, had a frog in my throat and uh, needed a quick drink. Anyway. So, super cool, really excited about that. So I'm excited to get that framed and hung up somewhere for myself. Um, I thought maybe I liked it because it's a skull and it's Halloween-y because I am a giant Halloween girl. I like my Christmas stuff, don't get me wrong. Christmas has its place, small place. It shouldn't be as popular as it is. It should not be as a bigger deal and the whole present and fighting families and the fact that I find Christmas has always been a super stressful holiday for me, I have always had, like, I have never really gotten into it. Like, it's, this is not, not my vibe. I love Halloween. I love the costumes. I love seeing everybody out. I love seeing the community. It's community for me. I, it's, it's so fantastic. Like in my community here, we've got about three or four different areas where you can go to and they just go crazy. They have decorations, haunted houses. People have smoke machines out, all the crazy decorations and the projections and just the costumes. You got the guy in the, the scar scarecrow outfit that pops out of nowhere and scares all the children. Um, one house a few years ago, I think they've moved away, but for a couple of years there, they were doing fun houses. You could do a maze around their house. People dressed like clowns in there and jumping out at little kids and scaring the daylights out of them. Oh, that was fun. Uh, I think my son went through that one about four or five times. He thought it was the coolest thing ever. Go walking by a car and the spotlight pops off and there's a skeleton sitting there pretending to drive. It's just fantastic. Fantastic. So magical. And also in my community, we don't do New Year's. We don't do Canada Day. None of these days get fireworks. We took Halloween. Halloween. And it's the best. And I can see it from my front yard. We go and stand outside and we watch these beautiful fireworks. Because I don't like being close to fireworks. I like watching them. But I like to be really far away. I I had an ember land on me one year for um, Canada Day. I didn't really get hurt, but it really spooked me how many people were hitting me at the time because we were in a big crowd and I kind of lost the people I was with, my family. And yeah, it, just, it was just not a good time. Anyways, so I like fireworks, but from far away. And so Halloween, it's fun. It's a make-believe. It's pretend. I don't have to buy anything if I don't want to. It's DUI friendly. Like, some of my decorations are antique doilies. <laughs> they are yellow. They have coffee spills on them. They have holes in them. They are over 100 years old from my great-great-grandmother. And I just throw them. Here, throw this on this table. Throw this on there. Let's put this hand here. Severed hand, of course. Let's put this skull right there. How about these ghosts go here? Um, ghosty. My daughter and I love ghosty. I accidentally just took him down. Darn it, ghosty. I'll have to put him back up. But I helped my mom make him 
when I was about 11, I helped paint his eyes with puff paint way back when puff paint was the big thing. He's my guy and he lives on my shelf here so we can see him from my bed. My daughter and I love to laugh at him. He's the nice ghost that, cut that makes sure that all the bad ghosts stay away. It helps her at night. Anyways, um, yeah, like I said, I love the black cats. One of my favorites is black cats in pumpkins. I think that is the cutest thing. It is my favorite. There's an amigurumi pattern or, feet or two that I really want to get done for myself this year. So I'm looking at, it might be a possibility. I might not do it. I haven't decided. I definitely want to do the wreath though. The wreath is high on my list. Another thing I'm thinking about is a gift for my mother-in-law's birthday. Um, the shawl went over really well. She was up here recently and she made sure to let me know that she really enjoys having it because sometimes at night she gets a little bit of a chill and she's reading. She doesn't want to pull a blanket on because I mean it's the middle of summer so she just wraps it around her shoulders and it really helps her feel warm and comfortable and I, I'm really pleased to hear that she likes it and that she's using it however she wants to use it, whatever works, right? It was a gift and I'm just glad it's not sitting in a drawer or hanging up or even worse, just thrown on the floor because who cares, right? That's happened before with like paintings where I painted something and it took me a long time and all of a sudden that person doesn't have the painting like three months later and it's kind of like, okay, get to know. I'm not doing this again. I put a lot of effort into that and I'm not doing this again. Just one second here. I want to show you something really cute. So my husband likes the thrift store. Okay. It's a fun outing. He goes there quite often. It's on his way places. So he just stops in. There's always something going on. They have secret sales that just pop up and they don't advertise them. They don't put them out anywhere. They're just like, yeah, we decided we we're going to put a sale on today. We want to give this to you for this much. So, he took my daughter in there and there was a whole bunch of shorts and stuff. So she filled up the bag and it cost them like nothing, but they grabbed this bag. <laughs> I think it's such a cute little tote. And it seems to have, like it's a good beach bag, but it's now my project bag. My husband's laughing at me because I put my, my stuff in there. Oh, it's Estee Lauder, it says. I'm recycled. Bag fabric is made from 100% recycled materials. Enjoy this keepsake design for the, with the environment in mind. I'm in. <laughs> I think it's adorable. The little happy faces, the smiling hearts, the crazy flowers. Totally up our alley. I'll grab my diaper bag and you'll see why. <laughs> okay, so when I was pregnant with my third baby, it was time to get a new diaper bag. I have a little black tote that looks like like it's a knockoff Dolce & Gabbana or something. It, I got it for the shape of it and the fact that it was small. I wanted a small one for when I was on the bus or on the stroller or whatever really small easy to put it in I still have room for everything else because oftentimes when we take the strollers out and I mean I got that bag when my son was born he's 17 now so that's a really old 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 one I think I paid $11 at it one of those small kiosks really lasted it's still kicking I still use it all the time my four-year-old daughter and I picked this beauty this is my diaper bag. Unicorn kitty with its gorgeous pink little bow. The little horn moves. Kind of considering maybe gluing it down. It says it's leather, but I think it's more of a polyurethane. And the inside is pink. Got one little little spot where I can put my wallet and everything else I need fits in there just fine. We've got extra outfits, diapers, wipes, drinks, snacks, socks, bags for everything. You never know when you might need to change an outfit because of a blowout. You need this, you need that. 
and I can crucially stuff in like one ball of yarn and whatever project I'm doing, maybe two if I really am sneaky. I also have my um, pencil case that I carry everything in, so I have been able to use that for her quite a bit. I absolutely love it, okay? People look at me like I'm totally not the walking around, or I make my husband carry it, which is even funnier. And we have two daughters. I don't need to say any more, really, do I? We have two daughters. Perfect. It's perfect. So anyways. Halloween stuff is coming up soon. Gonna have to do that. Not only that, I have birthdays to come up with. My two daughters are both in September. One's the third, one's the twelfth. So those need to be done. Then I gotta get on top of whatever we're doing for Halloween. And Halloween decorations. Because I do have to replace some Halloween decorations. Some of them are just not doing it because they're dollar store stuff like you know the caution tape after eight or nine years of hanging it up and taking it down it's not doing too well so it's time to retire it and get some some other items that I might like um my middle daughter her second birthday was a lala loopsy birthday and I made a garland out of cardboard and yarn and there's a lot of glitter on it. It's really cute, actually. And I actually, um, I did one out of bats long before that for one of my sons, like fifth birthday or something. I did a Lego Batman birthday for him. And we have a bat garland, and I absolutely love the thing. I am going to have to repair it this year. I think there was a couple spots where it really needed some replacing because I used Dollar Store yarn, and it's been hung up. It's it's been around for a very long time and the bats have hung up have held up really well though and being that it's a halloween decoration if they look a little faded and spots and scratched here and there that's actually a really good thing so anyways i'm super hyped about halloween i hope you're super hyped about halloween too i'm watching everybody show off everything they're finding out in the stores and all i can think about is what am i going to make and the amigurumis Oh, the free amigurumis, so many ghosts. I wanna make them all. I mean, I got this big white blanket. I can make so many fun ghosts. We'll see, we'll see what I have time to do. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for joining me again. Hopefully you enjoy babbling about uh, Halloween as much as I do. Thank you for joining me here at All the Crackers in the Box and I hope your day is wonderful. And we'll see you sh soon. Oh, okay. So, I said goodbye, but then I realized I forgot to show off the diamond art that I did. <laughs> I got so sidetracked thinking about what's next and Halloween and bags and all that fun stuff because, oh, it's fun. Okay, so, we'll get to this here. This is real quick. Let's throw this in at the end as a bonus, I guess. Bonus time. This is my Golden Girls from Timu. Smallest one I've ever done. A 20 by 20. I'm usually a 30 by 40 girl. I've gotten them mostly from Amazon, but these are my diamond girls, my golden girls. All done up, ready to be put away. So, I'll put them with the rest of my finished ones. And that has opened up one tote. I have a limit of how many I'm allowed to start at a time. I have about eight or nine or more put aside to just do when I feel like doing something or want to hang out with the kids. And just started up my bathroom one. This one is for my daughter's and guests' bathroom. I absolutely love the little ducky. The kitty in, in the sink is just phenomenal. It is definitely something. If this was just a piece of art in a frame, I would just buy it. But I like the diamonds so far. I've gotten virtually nothing on it done. Just a little bit up in here. 
So we start in the corners, but I went all the way across here. And I'm just gonna make my way down. This is the size I prefer. Definitely like this size. But I will be working on it off and on. Like I said, I have that other one for someone's birthday. And I've got an it one that I started that is mostly black. So that one I just used my my three my three hitter where I get can put three down diamonds on at a time and I could just fly right through that one because it's mostly red and black and a bit of white so but I'm looking forward to that one being done it's really cool it's gonna look good on my Halloween displays with it and a sad little clown boy love that anyways I'm gonna say goodbye again thanks for joining me here at all the crackers in the box all the forgetful crackers in the box see you again really soon